with a hoof. It's a tiny little thing. There's a little hook on the back. And you can open it, screws. And it's part through USB cable. So I'm gonna be modding it. Okay, after I remove the screws, I can see the power coming from the base, from the USB. Plus the one cable for the button, it has a little button. And it has a little circuit there, which I'm gonna override, so I can switch on the red, yellow, green lights from the AMC. Okay, let's see. So this is the circuit. I can see the MOSFETs to drive the LEDs. So I can hook up my signals on the gates. And just uh, give them some power instead of using the chip for the control. I'll uh, override this. But yeah, I can see the three MOSFETs there. Yeah, we can do it. So the plan is simple. I'm gonna cut the power to the IC by cutting it the trace here. So this won't get power. And then I can use uh, uh, this input to wire directly. Wires here, it here. And uh, here, so I'll have the signals for the three LEDs from there. And I can keep the power supply uh, from USB, so it can drive the power from the LEDs instead of drawing power from the AMC. It will be easy to do. Okay, so I'll cut here the power supply to the IC. It added uh, a few more resistors to wire my signals uh, to the gates of the MOSFETs for the LEDs. So I just put some 470 I had. It won't really matter, just enough. Uh, this won't draw too much to power the MOSFETs. So it's just for extra protection. Uh, so it won't have any power come back to the MC. Okay. Okay, so I'm wiring the four signals I need, the ground, red, green, yellow on the connector. So I can put it on the enclosure and then cut here to make it go down. And the wires will go on the resistors I just put there. Okay, so I mounted this here with some melted PLA plastic on it, anchored. And the little wires, of course, the signals, red, green, yellow at the ground. Okay, and now I'll try it. Okay, I have it all wired up, connected. Let me see. And I'm gonna try to run the green LED. It's connected. Connected here. Let me do the slider for the spike. Yeah, working fine. Yes. And if I sort it to get the stop. Come on, sort it. There it is, red. Okay. Working good. Okay, all is wired, and I also included a little switch to enable the normal function when I don't have connected the uh, e stop, a lights, whatever. Okay, let's put it all together.
Okay, so have everything uh, wired and connected. I'll explain it a little bit. So have the normal cable RJ45 going to RJ45 splitter, which actually in turn copies the signal identical to two wires. So I can have uh, my e stop normal e stop connected. And the other side goes to the little traffic light we have here. It gets uh, power from the little power supply it comes with it from a USB. So no power comes from the MC, only the signals. It activates LEDs on its own. So I'm gonna just put it somewhere so I can see it better. Um, I'm gonna start manual test here. So you can see this is connecting. So I have the normal, when I move it, I get the spike, right? And you can see the same here, when I get the spike, it switches the same. But it's a little bit more bright than the LEDs on the bottom, so it's easier to see. Okay, and if I hit the e stop, red. Okay, let me release it. Uh, yeah, it's connected online, so I'll have to make it go to the park. Now it's green again. <coughs> okay, and you can see it works perfectly now the thing is i haven't disabled the internal circuit so you can still use it like the normal toy it is just by disconnecting the signal okay so it will come back to the normal function that it has just to bring the leds or it has some other functions to just to have on on And so on okay so yeah just uh, an easy mod that looks good too for a little traffic light to have next to your PC All right it's floating